In this video, we're going to quickly go over all of the outlets that are come that come with the download and just show you some of the features, what ones are included and how you might use them. So with that said, I am currently in the example project file that comes with your download. And I'm just going to flip over to the main level floor plan. And we're going to focus for this video on these first two categories here. So the electrical outlets and the other outlets. So let's just take a quick look. You'll um, from my previous video, if you watch that, you'll know that these outlets come in a couple different varieties, the wall hosted variety, ceiling hosted, floor hosted, and then two non hosted types. The first non hosted type is facing up as if it's mounted in the floor, but it's not the family is not actually hosted to the floor. So you can Put the family anywhere you want, but it will be facing up. The second non-hosted family is as if it's mounted to a wall. So it's mounted sideways, but it's not hosted. And again, it's so that you can put this anywhere. Because uh, one of the most common problems I have when I'm doing electrical plans is I need, um, every house has an island these days and they always need outlets on the ends per code. And so one of my frustrations was not having an outlet that I can just put anywhere. Um, sometimes I found some outlets back in the day that were face hosted, which is which seems great because I can put it on the island, but then the symbols didn't always show up right in floor plan. So anyways, this should fix that. And that's why those are included here. And you'll see that in both the electrical families and the data and other outlet families over here, you get the same options. Then below that, I'm not going to spend too much time on the 2D symbol families because they really are just that. They're just 2D symbols that you can place in the file when you don't want to go through the full effort of trying to make it look good in 3D. If you're just trying to get a quick um, electrical plan done, you can, you can use these 2D outlets here. But even the 2D outlets have some intelligence built into them, which we can talk about in a moment. All right, so let's just look quickly at the different types of electrical outlets we have. You've got the 240 volt outlets. You've got your typical duplex outlet. So that's just um, that's just what you'd expect. That's just a normal outlet as a duplex. Then you have a dedicated duplex. Some people like to use these, some people don't. These are used for um, when you want a dedicated circuit for usually an appliance. So right here, I've used it for the refrigerator. So you can see it's the dedicated symbol and it's FR for fridge. You've got one for the microwave, for the range. Um, the, um, the dishwasher has one and then the garbage disposal has one. I use them also in the utility room for the water heater, the furnace, the washer and dryer. Uh, the dryer has a, a high voltage dedicated circuit. So Something you'll notice when you place those is you can click on it. When you place the dedicated, there's something over here in the properties called the label. So this is where you would type in the appliance name or the abbreviation for the appliance the circuit is intended to service. All right, so that's a dedicated circuit. Um, then your GFCI. So they have a special symbol like this. You'll see that it's filled in in the middle to indicate a GFCI. And then you have a switched outlet. So there's a single switch or a double switched outlet for if you want to um, tie the outlets to a switch rather than have constant power. You'll see here's your weatherproof outlet that's automatically GFCI protected. Then there's specialty outlets like a USB outlet or if you just want to indicate that a, a simple J box needs to be placed somewhere, but isn't necessarily an outlet. And then we get more specific after that. Here's your quadplex and then a quadplex that's GFCI protected. And here's a quadplex with a USB, a singleplex. I don't see those very often, but they do exist. So we created that and then a dedicated singleplex. And then after that, Okay, so all of those that I just listed, those come in a Decora style, and then you also have your traditional style outlets. 
So after going through all those, let's look at what they look like in 3D. So here we go. Here are your 240 volt outlets in two different um, amp amplitudes. And then here's your duplex outlets, your GFCI protected outlet. Here's your waterproof outlet. Here's your USB outlet and so on and so forth. And then you can see these are all Decora style. And then if you get over here, here's your traditional style outlets. And then the floor outlets all look the same. They're just a cover plate. And then your ceiling outlets look similar to the wall outlets. They're just hosted to the ceiling. And then if you want to take a look, same thing here. Let's go back to our main level. So there's what I like to call a cable run or basically a Smurf tube cover plate for if you want to do a run in the wall, but just need a cover plate to cover it. There's a custom one that it just looks like a cover plate, but you can label it if you click on it. You're able to label it with whatever you want over here. Then you've got your data and phone outlet, your data and TV, your simple data, your double data, data, sorry, multi-purpose. This is for more of a custom type element. Then you've got phones and then you have speaker connections, audio jack, and then your TV coax. And again, if you look at them in 3D, they look like what they are. So here's your audio connections. There's your coax cable. And again, floor and ceiling mounts. All right, now we've looked at what's included. Let's talk about how to use some, some of the features. So if you click on just a typical outlet, we've gone over the fact that you can label it, but you can also, let's look at it in 3D. Something that's really easy to do is you can click on an outlet and it's got the rotate 90 degree feature because in, again, in islands, it's sometimes you don't want them in the traditional orientation. You sometimes want them rotated 90 degrees. So you can just click that button and it will rotate at 90 degrees. Then um, you've got your placement height. So if these are counter height, you can set them up to four feet and they will move up. You've got your all your materials right here. So if you want to change this to something other than white, you could, if you have, if you want black cover plates, you can change these to black or whatever other color you want. And then the other thing that you will could be interested in, we'll go back to the floor plan for this, is there is something called the symbol offset. And this is handy. I use this mostly if I'm trying to put two outlets in the same spot, but one's higher than the other, or for example, something I do a lot is I'll have a cable run that goes low on the wall and it runs up high on the wall. And I have an outlet. So the T the outlet up high for a, like a wall mounted TV. And then I have a cable run that runs down to where the TV console will be. So for like, you know, if they have a DVD player or a surround sound system where they need cables run up to the TV. So I'll often have a cable run outlet and maybe a T or an electrical outlet stacked on top of each other. So in order to show them in the same spot, you can use the symbol offset. So for example, I'm just going to offset this um, six inches from the wall. And here I'm just going to move this to pick a new host and we'll just put it above. So now it's directly above the cable run. And again, I can even move it further because it looks like six inches isn't enough. So let's move it a foot. And so now you can see in the same spot, there's my cable run and my electrical symbol. And then in 3D, you can see here's my high outlet and there's my cable run faceplate below it. And that just keeps your floor plans tidy, your electrical plans. Otherwise, 
there's not a real nice way to do this and make it look good in 3D and 2D if you don't have that feature. So we included that feature uh, for that kind of situation. All right, so those are all the type parameters that are easily accessible over here that you might be interested in. Um, and then if you go in here to the, sorry, did I say, these are all your instance parameters. If you wanna change the type of outlets, you have a bunch more options that mostly aren't meant to be tampered with because you could break the family, but you can change things like voltage and other typical items in here if you need to. But for the most part, we try to make most of the items that you're gonna wanna change on an outlet to outlet basis is just right here in the instance parameters. All right, um, let's see. The other outlets function similar to most of the electrical outlets. They have all the same parameters. So if you know how to use one, you're, you're pretty much, you're good and set to use both. So that is a quick overview of the types and features of outlets that came with your download. Um, have fun uh, using these outlets and I wish you the best of luck and I hope they save you a ton of time and frustration. Thank you.